and left to die. It had all the makings of a tragic ending. But a Memphis woman has turned this crime against her into a personal mission that's now making national headlines. Not only was Kimberly Morton raped in 1998, she was also severely scarred because her attacker poured bleach all over her. Now, he went to jail, but what happened next turned her tragedy into triumph. WREG's April Thompson explains why her story is gaining so much attention. April. Claudia, try page 18 of Jet Magazine, a magazine that's read all over the country. This month, a story from Memphis that could have ended in tragedy, but is instead set to help rape victims everywhere. Kimberly Morton's smile hides plenty of pain. These horrifying pictures from 1998 tell the story. The then 20-year-old was left beaten and burned after her neighbor, Carlos Thomas, viciously raped her and poured bleach over her body at the Tulane Apartments in South Memphis, leaving her close to death. He raped me, but Morton survived and turned her case into a personal mission. All I wanted was for victims to get justice. I didn't want no other victim to feel the heartache and pain that I felt. Carlos Thomas pled guilty and got 50 years for aggravated rape and attempted murder. But a loophole in Tennessee law allowed him to serve only 85% of his sentence. With good behavior, he was out in 12 years. I was devastated. Kimberly went public with her story, catching the attention of Tennessee State Representative Antonio Parkinson. He sponsored a bill that the governor signed changing Tennessee law so that violent rapists must serve 100% of their sentence. No credit for good behavior. For those that are brazen enough and, and callous enough to violently assault any of our citizens, we want them to understand that they won't see the light of day until all of their sentence is, is, is paid out. The law, known as Kimberly's Law, got the attention of Jet Magazine. Editors contacted Parkinson about the story, and this week it made headlines in the magazine. Jet Magazine and other outlets are obviously understood that this is an amazing story. One Morton hopes will inspire others. I want the victims to know that, you know, you don't have to remain a victim. And right now, Morton is trying to change state laws in her new home, New York. She also plans a federal push. And this July edition of Jet Magazine featuring her story is now on store shelves. April Thompson, WRAG News Channel 3. On the run.